Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you some of the best fixes for your Windows 11 update errors that you can fix in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now just select other troubleshooters and afterwards click on the run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to detect any problems and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to run a system file scan. Yes, the most popular SFC and DISM scans. To do this, press the Windows button and type in CMD, but make sure and be careful about this right-click command prompt and run it as an administrator, because many people don't do this and then they wonder why the commands don't work. And now in the command prompt window, make sure to type in the following commands. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so please don't lose patience. Just wait until they're done. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to check if the Windows Update service is enabled and running. Otherwise, we have to either start it or restart it. So to do this, press the Windows button, then type in Services and then select Services as an application from the search result. Now in here, make sure to scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, then simply double click on it to open up its properties window. Then as we can see, in my case, the service status is set to running. If this is not your case, make sure to press on the start button and if we want to restart the service in case something's wrong click on the stop button and wait for a bit and then once again click on the start button to restart the service another thing i would like to mention in here next to startup type make sure that the automatic option is selected and lastly click on apply and ok to save the changes close this window restart your computer and check if the problem still persists Next in line, another useful solution is to clean boot windows. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then type in msconfig and select system configuration from the search result. And now the first thing you have to do under the general tab is to deselect the load startup items and make sure that the use original boot configuration is also selected. So in case it's not, make sure that load system services and use original boot configuration are selected. And from here on we can move to the services tab and tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and now you can just click on the disable all button. This will remove all the third party services from the startup to make this process of updating Windows 11 easier in case something might be an obstacle. Now you can just click on apply and ok, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to manually download and install Windows 11 updates. Now, first of all, we need to find out which update you're having problems with. So to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Now click on Windows Update on the left pane and in here on the right side, select the Update History category. And now in here, make sure to locate the update number that you're having problems with. So copy this one or just note it down. So minimize now that you've copied the update version, open up your default browser and head over to the link that I posted in the description below. Basically, this is the Microsoft update catalog where you can find these updates, download them manually and install them. So in the search box, make sure to copy paste the number of the version you're having problems with and click on the search button. And as you can see, some results showed up. So make sure to download the specific version for your system architecture. Then once again, you'll see that you have to click a hyperlink in here. And from here on, choose a location, preferably on your desktop so you don't get lost. And then click on the save button. Now, after this update will be downloaded, make sure to access it, follow the on-screen instructions, and then you're good to go. Afterwards, restart your computer and you can check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. 
And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. I wish you a great day and thanks for watching.